high a lot, but uh, we're getting right into our next match with uh, House 3007 and uh, Jen. Yeah, so we just saw uh, Devin 3000 pop up a little bit last set with uh, Louis Jesus, a bit of an upset, I would say. Ooh, okay. Uh, now we're going to go up against Jen with the classic Palutena, I believe has been the main since the game's launch. So sticking with it. Yeah, I mean, not a bad option at all. Absolutely. Squirtle taking advantage and getting the Squirtle tax that 60% or so at that low percent. Opting mm -hmm. to stick with him. Right. Run up jab. Actually, I've been seeing Palutena's do that a little bit more compared to like lunge. Run up jab is pretty nice for the disjoint. Or call out with the up smash. Yep. Palutena classic. Now you are in a difficult situation. Oh, no, Ooh. that's just going to be death. Town and city, baby. Mm -hmm. Town and city, and then that might have been some DI as well. All right. Jump the flame. Oh, I just didn't able to jump through the flamethrower. That was interesting. I didn't know you could do that. I wonder if that flame is any different from uh, Bowser. I don't actually know. Anyway. So we are seeing Devin sticking with Squirtle a little bit here to toss again upstate. Or Jen upstate. Yeah. All right. Seems some aggressive chases on this one. Although if you are playing Squirtle, you do have to worry about getting killed early, like we just saw in that first stock. Gonna get launched off stage again. Mm -hmm. Especially right. with Palutena's uh, pretty huge hitboxes. We've Great. been seeing this down air out of shield a lot. I think to uh, compensate for the fact that Squirtle's so short, and yes. it's it's been uh, working for Jen quite a bit. Yep, one of the big things about uh, Palutena, I mean, often you'll see uh, Nair out of shield, and that's likely still good in this matchup, I would imagine. But down air probably dips a little bit lower and is still relatively fast. And if you're at high percent at this one, I don't think you'd get anything off of the Nair. But I wonder if that was a less jump on that one. That looked like Teleport could have still gotten back. Yeah. But... Wait, chasing back off stage. Seeing the explosive flame off to head back to the stage on that one as opposed to go low. Devin getting a nice 37% up here. All right. How are we getting off this platform? Yep. Down low. All right. There to punish in time. You cannot land next to Squirtle. Squirtle will grab you. All right. I like the bait there, trying to catch the roll in on the tech. Ooh, that should be a punish. Mm -hmm. Explosive flame, one of the most win punishable moves in the game. Gonna get the nice read on the down smash. And we're not seeing this in Devin's favor. All right, trying to go for some safe pressure. That's probably another reason why the down tilts, not only because uh, Squirtle is low to the ground, but because a lot of the hitboxes are low to the ground as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, doing that as opposed to something like trying to grab out a shield or jab out a shield or something. Granted, those are similar, but... Great tech coming out from Jen, uh, avoiding a really early stock loss. Mm -hmm. And I like how we're seeing this uh, safe pressure over here with the landing fares on the shield. Especially because that is a negative, is that if you're a smaller character, if an opponent lands on your shield with an aerial, they hit the ground sooner. So they're mm -hmm. a little bit more difficult to punch. Oh, Ooh, outspaced it! That's gonna yeah. be game one to Devin. Devin just said, it. you're gonna nair right here. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, there is that little bit of lean back with Squirtle, but Squirtle's such a small character, it's a, a small amount, but that water went hella far. Mm -hmm. All right. I like that bait over there as well. Very easy to do that with Palutena where you're uh, jumping up. She's got the aerial movement speed. Oh yeah, absolutely. And the uh, invincibility of the back air to deal with any defensive swinging. Mm -hmm. Gonna go into game two once again on Town and City. Doing a little bit of the water gun for stage control, but again, again, Jen was just holding forward that whole time, so no ground gained or lost. Tried to look for a jab lock on that one with the squirtle down tilt. Gonna get chased up. Ooh. This is scary. High, yep, high ceiling is saving. That's the jump! Yeah. Nice. Wow, that was a dominant sequence. All right. All right, getting back to the Squirtle, but still going to suffer a punish for the change. And now the momentum is hugely in uh, Jen's favor right now. All right, I, I like that. I do like the uh, landing recovery forward smash punish on that one. We've seen it uh, a good amount down here. Ooh. Punish on the mixed uh, miss tech. Yeah, I think uh, Devin might not have been ready for the town and city platforms to come back in and just look at how deep Jen's <laughs> right. 
Yeah, not in time to get a ledge trap on that one. Went for the dash attack. All right, playing it patient at the ledge. Not in any hurry. Uh, be a regrab situation. I, nice think, attack. I think Devin just saved uh, Jungle on that one. I think that was just slightly below the ledge, but I'm not certain. I think I think uh, Jen could have made it back. It, oh no! Ooh. That looked like a teleport cancel that was not quite smooth. But those are quite hard, so understandable. Oh, city! Not ready for. I keep thinking like, because that's the thing. The stage does have the shorter side blasts, but I'm like, is this bad tech? Because I feel like this character shouldn't die. Yet. Right. All right. Ah, uh, yes, the Nair train. Choo choo. Looking to catch Di out with the explosive flame. Now Devin has to get off the ledge once again against Palutena, trying to make his way out on the platforms. Oh, I like the patience on that one from uh, Jen. All these aggressive options to catch the landing on the platform, on the ledge, and then just waiting in shield for like, okay, where's the aerial? Like like punish this other shield. Very patient from uh, Jen, looking like a very different Palutena compared to game one. And Devin took so much damage off of that uh, last ledge interaction. Has to come back. Nice, Ooh, I like the patience on that one. Actually tries to catch in case there was an empty jump, but was a little too late on that up smash. Oh, oh meaty F tilt. Yep, very, very active move. Um, that's the thing, right, is that so many of Palutena's grounded moves last forever. So their, their whiff punish, um, or the ability to whiff punish them, I should say, can be gargantuan. Mm -hmm. um, but then, if your opponent is recovering, it's like, yeah, they'll go to the ledge. I'll just toss this out, I guess. Yeah. And then you've got like a half second of hitboxes over the ledge. F tilt, Palutena F tilt is basically just uh, fire on side B. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it does kind of spin the same yeah. way. And let's see what our final counter pick is going to be. Right back to town and city. I feel like. What has been really defining this set so far has been the ledge traps and edge guards. The uh, close side blast zones of Town and City have just been huge for both players. Uh, Devin in game one, Jen in game two. And it looks like Devin already at the ledge. Nice shielding the uh, Squirtle side B. Yep. I do like that quick forward air out of shield to chase the side B on shield. Side B on shield is usually pretty safe, but if Devin had air dodge there, that could have potentially trapped him either onto that platform where Palutena could punish with a quick recovery or even below, which gives uh, Jen even more time. All right. That's a really, that's a really scary mix up that's really rough with Palutena, particularly. The fake back turn to you Tomahawk grab is so scary because uh -huh. of that trample property on her back air. Right. Going a little bit aggressive on that one, running right into Devin's Nair. Gonna get tossed off stage. Here we go. All right, we do have Charizard at the edge of the stage, though. This is still scary no matter who you are. Goes with an aggressive Nair up from the ledge. This is a lot of damage. Yeah, Charizard, a big body. Going to be taking 40% out of Nair's. All right, Nair back once again. What is the chase? Goes for the bait. Waits for the air dodge. Right, it's not going to get any whip punish on that side, B. Ooh, the counter. Yeah, you don't see that too often. All right, Nair off stage once again. Juggle? No, actually waits for it again. Actively looking for the uh, air dodge in the base on this one. Devin sort of nodding his head like, oh, yeah. I'm getting worked a little bit. All right. Down till. That is the thing. Squirtle does have a lot of really good ground presence, so putting out some active hitboxes at this sort of percent to dissuade is a very good thing. Yep. Coming off of the ledge. Back throw. Yep, that'll do it. Squirtle's got tiny arms, but he's strong enough. Chucks like a champ. All right. Oh, no! That looked like uh, Jen's DI might have been good on that one, and Devin wasn't uh, able to react in time, I think. I'm not sure if that's one of those stories you need to react to the DI for the combo. Now we're seeing Devin at a full stock disadvantage. Has to land against Palutena. Jen was ready for the air dodge. Mm -hmm. Just cannot make it past these up airs. All right, I, I think there was still a punish on the explosive flame. So mm -hmm. was there in time, wasn't letting the uh, the pressure get to him too badly. So wasn't fading all the way back, which I'm sure that uh, explosive flame was there to catch. Gonna see the teleport cancel those hard. Yeah, I really like the idea from uh, from Devin. He was ready for the teleport, but just had the uh, the spacing wrong or the direction wrong. Ooh, that's a bit of a bold option on the out of shield on that one. That was like, a, oh, okay, let's end the set. I've got places to be, so I just call out. <laughs> right. I like the shield grab. Ooh, yep. I like the idea from Jen. 
I feel like we're seeing all these baits. We're gonna see something from Jen, just like a, an immediate call out. Ah, uh, no, there's no air dodge bait here. No, still the bait. Ooh. All right, there we go. Once yeah. again, these huge lasting hitboxes from Palutena. He taken down his last stock with a really decisive game three. Yeah, that was uh, that was a huge, like you said before, that was a huge momentum shift. From game one to game two, mm -hmm. that was like uh, that was like Gen at fifty or Gen. I keep saying Gen, the Street Fighter character. <laughs> yeah. Gen, Gen at fifty percent was like, oh, I see. I have to go full power. <laughs> ah! And then he does the three episode power up. <laughs>